All right, what we're doing today is uh, welding up our 4G SMAW stick groove joint. It's an uh, overhead on a half inch thick plate. We actually already did the weld, so we know exactly what we're doing here for the setup. Um, you can see here, it's upside down. Our first bead is 6 to 10, 3 30 seconds of an inch diameter. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 are going to be all 70, 18, 8 inch. Uh, just like all our other welds, you can't have more than an eighth of an inch melt through, and you can't have more of an eighth of an inch on the face. Uh, our 6010, we're going to run around 70 amps. Our 7018, we're going to run around 120 amps. The um, difficult part about this is it's overhead, and to get the actual video shot proved to be quite difficult. I, we made a setup that um, I was on a table on a creeper upside down with an arm coming off kind of at a weird angle. It was pretty hard to weld and pretty hard to shoot. Uh, one thing we were worried about was uh, our, uh, we, we put a speed glass in front of the camera. That's how we get the actual uh, video of the welds. And we were afraid to ruin the speed glass because we were underneath it from the sparks. All right, this is a speed glass. It comes with a plastic guard over the top of it like this. When we shoot videos and we're far enough away, we don't have to worry about the sparks getting on them because we're doing overhead. We put this on. When we did it, uh, and you'll see it on the first uh, 60 tens, there's a green light that gleams out uh, horizontally from the actual video shot, and that's a, something coming off of this. So what we did is we took this off. Once we got done with our... Uh, two passes over our hot pass we took this off for the three covers and it came out fine but we had to cut out the two passes and the, the um, hot pass was a little bit sketchy too but we definitely got a good one a good shot of the root and the and the covers that's the most important part and at a later date I'll redo it and we'll just leave this off the whole time we'll just be really careful but that's the reason why there's going to be no shot of the two other than that it came out really well the uh, root came out perfect Covers came out pretty good, so live and learn. Next time we'll just pull this off the whole time and hopefully it'll be better. The main thing that you want to remember when you're doing overhead is to get comfortable. People hang out in the air and they shake a little bit and they don't get comfortable. Uh, the best thing you could do is get some kind of a rest. Put one of your arms on the, the rest and the other arm on the other side of the stinger so that you've got something to stabilize you during the whole process. Every one of these beads that we're running today is a stringer. I'm not doing any kind of manipulation. You got to move quickly and you have to keep your arc really tight. Just about touching the plate. If you don't, you're going to get a drip and you have to keep on moving. If you slow down and you uh, hold in one spot for too long, you're going to get a drip. So just remember, keep it tight, make sure you're comfortable and keep it moving. All right, we're going to set up for our uh, 4G SMAW well, overhead on uh, our 6010, we're going to use regular 5P at 70 amps, direct current electro positive, and stick panel, and uh, high frequency off. We'll be all set. And then when we go to our 7018s, we're just going to increase this to 120. Just maintain a really, really tight arc and uh, see what we can come up with here. All right, this is our setup. It's pretty hard to do, get a camera shot, you get the weld and everything. So I'm just gonna lay on this creeper. The plate's gonna be upside down here. The camera's gonna be over there. And hopefully we have enough room to get a good shot and at least the room the covers and our setup. All right, here we go, try it out. All right, this is our first pass, and you can see there's a keyhole right at the end there. So what I'm going to do is start, um, obviously, on the other side, because it's upside down, back in here, 
get it established, and I'm going to plunge it back through that keyhole so we can get a good start and stop without a little hole there. All right, this is our root pass for the 4G overhead stick weld. Bled through pretty good. We're gonna put our hot pass on now. We just finished our hot pass. We're going to put two stringers above that and then uh, we'll finish up with the covers. All right, there's the two that we did over our hot pass. Got a little off kilter on the first one, but we'll straighten it out here on the, on the covers.
There's our final weld. Final three on the top. Looks pretty good.